Hello everyone. Welcome to your lecture on privacy and paradox. This lecture is a part of your paper on youth, media and society. We are aware that the percolation of the internet in the media landscape brought about a transformation to the communication structure and lifestyle of people, especially the youth throughout the world. This transformation gradually took place during the late 20th century and early 21st century with the improvement of communication technologies and initiation of smartphones. Today, every other person in India owns a smartphone, sometimes even without a proper knowledge about its operations. Consequently, the number of internet users grew over a small period of time. According to a report released by the IAMAI Internet and Mobile Association of India, in 2015 there were 219 million users of mobile internet in urban India, which is about 53% of the total urban population, while there were 87 million mobile internet users in rural India, which was double the number of users in 2014. However, the usage of internet is greater amongst the youth. Today, the daily activities of the youth includes surfing the internet for diverse reasons including socializing, completing home tasks, online shopping, playing online games, sometimes even for watching television and listening online radio. This convergence of media has contributed to the enhancement of the online activities. Moreover, the youth look forward to the new media as a gateway of multicultural interaction. Thus, the increase in the activities on the internet has led to the emergence of privacy concern. The internet users, especially the youth on one hand, indulges in activities which reveals their personal information while on the other hand, they complain about loss of privacy on the internet. Therefore, in this lecture, we will get an understanding of users, especially the youth's issues of privacy and paradoxes in the context of new media. We will discuss the emergence of privacy issues concerning the internet among the youth. We will try to get an understanding of how the online activities of the youth generate privacy issues and how while getting concerned about their privacy, the youth indulges in cyber activities that are paradoxical to maintaining their privacy on the internet. Let us begin. Emergence of privacy concerns among youth, a Harvard Law Review article of 1890, co-authored by Samuel D. Warren and Louis D. Bandrace, defined privacy as the right to be left alone. In simple words, privacy is a state in which people wish to keep their personal information or, or life to themselves and not to share it with the society. All individuals seeking privacy also wishes others to respect their decision of not sharing certain information before the public eye. Every person wishes to have a social life and a self-satisfying private life. However, the explosion of new media in our daily life and the consequent sharing of personal information on the digital media have created a disparity between private and public. The users of new media, especially the youth, in spite of being concerned about their digital privacy, are often engaged in paradoxes of self-disclosure through activities like socializing on the social media platforms online purchasing of goods and services, online gaming, instant messaging, as well as browsing various web pages. The digitally disclosed information gets stored and is subjected to replication, sharing, as well as modification without the knowledge of the users. Thus, 
the users often face the challenge of compromising their personal information while maintaining their virtual identity. The youth can find it difficult to distinguish the fine line between privacy and its paradoxes in the digital platform, perform actions threatening to their personal identities. The late 20th century and the early 20th, 21st century witnessed a transformation in communication technology. With the explosion of world wide web, the geographical, political, social as well as cultural boundaries have collapsed, materializing Marshall McLuhan's concept of a global village. At a time in the 19th century, the development of telegraph was considered to be the prime medium of global communication. Today, however, the internet or the new media as it has come to be known as is perpetually defining and redefining the concept of communication especially among the youths who are directly influenced by it. It has triggered the establishment of virtual social communities, e-commerce resulting in expansion and success of small enterprises as well as e-education. Such lucrative benefits of the new media are primarily being consumed by the youth since the internet appears to them as a more democratic medium of interaction and means of easy access to the repository of global knowledge. However, just as any new technology has its own perils, new media has them too. That is, the enhanced digital activity and interactivity facilitates the circulation of personal information on various platforms. This personal information can be tampered with resulting in dangerous consequences like identity theft, virtual blackmailing for money and similar other perils mostly affecting the youth. Nonetheless, today new media has intimately integrated into our daily lives and we cannot imagine our participation in political, economic, social and cultural spheres its absence. Thus, the youth has to take into consideration the concept of privacy while engaging in such spheres through digital technology. Now, let us discuss the various factors which gives rise to privacy concerns on the internet. 1. Today, the usefulness of the new media has brought about a change in the functions of the government as well as private sectors. These sectors have begun keeping computerized records of people and their personal information. While this increases efficiency in proper functioning of the sectors and ensuring proper justice to any complication, it also raises the concerns of mishandling of the computerized records. Moreover, the rise in dangerous activities like hacking enhances the risk of misusing of personal records. 2. Today, with the changing of the media landscape, the market scenario has also changed. Company and brand strategies have transformed to include user or customer feedback through internet. Presently, the proliferation of online shopping among the youth has made the internet an efficient medium of expanding business. Often, the online shopping websites requires the customer to provide certain personal information like name, email ID, residential address, phone numbers, etc. There is always a chance of invasion of privacy through such websites and the personal information getting misused. The upsurge in online shopping has also transformed the economy into a cashless one. People are now increasingly using e-banking for all transactions and shopping. Online shopping is done with the help of credit cards, 
and debit cards. Such activities require the customer to share bank details on the virtual platform. There is always an impending risk of misuse of such personal details. Four, social media, the most trending place on the web, is another factor that complicates the privacy issues, especially for the youth. While social media can be a great place for global interaction and showcasing creative potentials, at the same time, it can encroach upon the user's privacy. Social media users, especially the youth, share a lot of personal information through social networking sites like Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Such personal information can be utilized for malicious or mischievous purposes, but one would ask how the internet encroaches upon personal information. Internal, inter, internet has the potential of transforming individual's life. With a single click of the mouse today, one can follow international news, perform purchases of goods and services and interact with the global community. However, while engaging in the digital world, individuals, especially the youth, are oblivious of the privacy concerns. The internet being highly unregulated, it facilitates collection of huge amounts of data without the permission of the user which emerges as a threat to the user's privacy while engaging in online activities. According to a Federal Trade Commission study conducted in March 1999, 92.8% of the websites had been collecting at least one type of identifying information like email addresses, name or, name or residential addresses, while 56.8% of them had been collecting at least one form of demographic information of the users like age and gender. Thus, there is a growing concern amongst new media users about their privacy since their personal information can be misused. This mostly affects the youth were potential and proficient users of the new media, but at the same time, are they can find it difficult to manage the safety and precautionary issues leading to concerns of identity theft, hacking, etc. While most internet users prefer being anonymous, while surfing numerous websites, their personal information like their location, email IDs, names, gender browsing preferences gets recorded. This information is usually obtainable by other websites which the user may not have visited. The collection of such information occurs through internet, cookies and web bugs. Internet cookies refers to a form of message conveyed to a web browser by the web server. Certain websites requires the users to fill an online form seeking personal information like name, gender, contact number or address or email address or browsing preferences of the user. This information is then accumulated in the form of a web cookie and sent to the web browser which can use the information for later use. Hence, cookies are primarily used to identify users, create customized web pages as well as to save the login details of the users. There are three types of cookies. One, session cookies. These are temporary cookies which expires when the user closes an any web browser. Such cookies are stored on temporary memory and are not sustained when the web browser is closed. Persistent cookies. These are almost like permanent cookies 
which gets stored in the hard drive and expires at a set time or when a user manually deletes it. These types of cookies can retain information about a user and his or her browsing habits and preferences. Third, malicious cookies. In today's digitally dominated world, malicious cookies are on the rise, which stores a user's personal information and keeps a track of the user's online activities. The information thus stored can be sold to the third party online advertising websites which target the users with interest specific advertisements. These are malicious cookies because the information is stored, of stored often without the knowledge of the user posing a threat to online security of the user. Web books or web beacons are pieces of invisible file objects present on a web page or an email message used to track the internet activities of the user. Web bugs are used to obtain IP address of the host computer, the URL of the web page where the web bug is located, the time of accessing the web page where the web bug is located by the user and even the type of web browser that faced the web bug. Web bugs are often utilized by spammers to verify email addresses. The paradoxes now that we have discussed the privacy issues related to the new media, let us discuss the paradoxes faced by the youth. We now know that collection of a user's personal information on the internet imposes a potential threat to his or her security. Users, especially the youth, being unaware of such intricacies of the new media often share personal information on the digital platforms. This is paradoxical since it is often the user who shares personal information without restriction on the virtual platform leading to complication of privacy. Moreover, the internet is not a private space since it connects the entire world. Almost every activity of a user in the virtual space can be monitored. Thus, the user, especially the youth, must be more careful while involving them in online activities. The inflation in the use of social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Instagram, Google and many others by the youth has enhanced the laws of privacy. While the young users of social media create personal profiles, they tend to share a lot of personal information like their name, age, gender, likes and dislikes details of family members, etc. This questions the personal, personal nature of their virtual profiles on social networking sites. Such virtual profiles are created by users at a very young age as many social networking sites like Facebook has met the minimum age limitation of 13. Such young users often fail to distinguish between private and public domains and share a lot of private information in the name of creating personal profiles. Today, the youth also engages in a lot of personal interaction on social media that is actually public space. Such interactions of the young users are often not supervised by parental authority and leads to security risk both online and offline. The websites accessed by them and the content to which they are exposed often pernicious by nature leads to loss of personal information unknowingly. Moreover, in the 21st century there is rise in the creation of personal websites by the youth 
for purposes of business conclusion. In the era of digital progression, the youth has to keep in mind that the internet or the new media is not a private space but a public sphere where the global population acts and interacts. The youth often commits the mistake of considering the internet as a private domain and consequently shares personal information. They often fail to realize the potential threats or the paradoxes of spreading such information. Thus, while the internet or the new media has become a major part of the lifestyle of individuals throughout the world, especially the youth, they need to move ahead towards self-protection which is attainable only through digital media literacy. For more details, please read the module on this lecture carefully and attempt the questions in the end. Thank you.